treasure maps. You want the loot, you want the leads, you want to know where to find treasure maps. I'm Lord Kelbor and welcome to Treasure Maps 101. I've taken the time to gather a ton of treasure maps and today we'll go through Somerset so I can show you exactly how to find the map you're looking for. I've put timestamps in the description below so if there's a specific map number that you need, just scroll down and click the link. Don't forget, if you find this treasure map guide useful, hit that like button for me and subscribe for future videos. Alright, let's go treasure hunting. For map number one, we're going to start at this way shrine. From here, we're going to head towards the X on the map. This map marker is from the map pins add-on, but don't worry if you can't or don't use add-ons, it's definitely not necessary. I have it on just to help show exactly where we're going since the treasure map itself is just a picture of the surroundings. From the way shrine, we're going to head a little bit northwest towards the beach. Once you see the waterfall, take a look at your map and see what it looks like. So we can see here there's a little bit of a rock outcropping that's resting on top of another giant piece of a rock, a little mushroom looking tree, and it's showing there's an X just over here in between this spike in the water and this spike on the land. Let's see if that matches up. There's a little mushroom tree little overhang, one spike, two spikes. So we're going to head straight towards the middle of that and see what we can find. So once you get to that spot, you'll see a little dirt mound like this, and it'll prompt you to dig it. So if you press E, or whatever button it is on your controller, go up to it, it'll dig it out, and reveal a treasure chest. Now let's open it up and see what we got. Look at that, we got some Somerset coffers from that one. This is during the Somerset uh, event of 2020, so if you watch this after the event's over, you won't get those. We'll go over the rest of it whenever we get back. Okay, for Somerset map number two, we're going to start at the Eastern Pass Way Shrine. So from the Eastern Pass Way Shrine, we're going to head southeast. And on this one, I'll show you why you can't always trust the picture on the map. They don't always line up exactly how they should, or at least how I think they were intended to. Once we get over there, I'll be able to show you that a little bit better. Okay, here's our dirt mound, but if we take a look at the map, you can see this is the tree that we're standing next to, there's the dirt mound. This picture was actually taken from over there, so let's open it again. Remember these little spiky crag looking things? Looks like a little hand sticking up. That's this right here. The picture was taken on a grassy knoll with the spikes on this side of the water. Well, the spikes are on the other side of the water, so the picture was probably taken from right about over there. Showing you that the mound is right here. Now, most people are going to be taking a way shrine to get here. Alright, let's see what we got this time. Oh, not bad. Okay, on to the next map location. For map number three, we're going to start at the Eben Stadmont Way Shrine. This is a pretty easy run. It's just straight down the road, and you'll see once we get there, the map 
picture will pretty much line up with what we're looking at. It's a little bit better layout than the last one. Okay, we're here at the X, but we don't see a mound. So let's take a look at the map and see what it shows us. So on this one, it shows us that the X is actually underneath the bridge that we're standing next to. So let's go underneath and see if we can find it. And there we go. For map number four, we're going to start at the K-Tarn Keep Way Shrine. Once we get to this spot, we're going to walk out to the edge here, get out our map, and take a look. So we've got a waterfall on the right hand side, two spiky rocks in the water, and then one spiky rock on the left hand side with a couple of trees. Waterfall, two spiky rocks, one spiky rock, and two trees. And there's our dirt mound. For map number five, we'll start at the Lilindril Way Shrine. Now this one is a little bit long of a walk, but what we're going to do is just follow the pathway all the way to the northern side near where the X is. At the fork in the road, we're going to take a left, head down through the water, and follow this trail all the way up to the end. Once we reach these stairs, we're going to take a left, go around the spider, and we're going to head down towards the beach. Now there's a little bit of a drop off here, so be careful. Okay, let's take a look at our map. We've got some mushroom trees in the water, a little spiky bit on shore, building in the background a large tree on this rock, and underneath that rock is going to be our treasure. Mushroom trees in the water, spiky bit on land, building in the background, Big old tree on the rock, and there is our treasure.
For the final map of Somerset, map number 6, we're going to start at the Eastern Pass Way Shrine. From here, we're going to head towards the X. Over here is where we found map number two. We're gonna go across the water and onto the shore on the other side. While we walk this way, I just wanted to let you know I do casual gameplay streams over on Twitch Mondays and Fridays from five to nine. Links are in the description, feel free to drop by and hang out for a bit. Okay, let's take a look at our map. We've got the tall tower on the left, bridge spanning across, and up in the mountain, there's the little X that shows us where our treasure is. Tall tower on the left, little bridge, so our treasure should be right about here. And here it is. Okay, well let's head back in and see what we got. Okay, we're back in Eleanor. Let's take a look at what we got. Got a few basic pieces of armor and weapons, along with some of the Overland set pieces that you can get in Somerset. Gloom Graced, Griffins, and Vanises, along with a few glyphs and some Somerset coffers. Now, if you are watching this during the Somerset event of 2020, I've got a video of that. I'll put a link to it down in the description below. Well, that's it for today. If you found this guide useful, give that like button some love. I'll be making some more map location videos, so if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more. And don't forget to click that little bell icon. That way YouTube knows that you want to know when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Treasure Maps 101. Okay, need to remind the viewers to be careful when going over the side of the cliff.